that's in his character. Uh, he's going to do whatever it takes. I mean, he's, he's going to motivate. He's going to inspire. He's going to get them revved up. It's when they get between the lines, it's on them. You know, everything else, he's going to do his part. I mean, some of the you know mistakes that are being made, they could be adjusted. So, you know, you just got to get in that situation where you don't take anyone for granted. And then every game is like your last game. Go out there and play. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's a little bit different now than before. And the different rules and the different things that they have, they didn't have them back in the day. So guys are constantly thinking it's turned into a game of analytics and all this other stuff. So a lot of thinking right here. So, you know, that run into them and just be aggressive and all that, it's kind of toned down. So you know, not that I'm putting the game down. Is this the new the, new era of the game? Yeah. Yeah, they don't different. want to. Yeah, it's different. They don't want to walk around this city again. Like I mentioned earlier, based on what the other professional teams have done, you don't want to be the guy walking around where people are looking at you funny, saying little things, and on social media, you got all this negative stuff. So they they turn it around. I mean, I tell people all the time, it's how you finish. You know, you could look at the record now. It's how you finish. So, exactly. Yeah. And lastly, any pointers for Ron? He's going to be running the forties. He's going to be doing a three-cone drill today. I'm going to tell Ron not to do it. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. I, I've seen you know, him do, doing the steps. you got to go see Leo do the steps at Palo Verde. Okay. Um, no, he the great steps are at Palo Verde. All the wrestlers and football players, anybody, he, he gets guys out there doing that. Plus, Leo Leo Gray here. I'm going to say, how, how are you feeling physically, man? You went through a, he went through a very uh, bad surgery. scare, open-heart surgery, yeah. a year and a half ago? Uh, maybe about three years ago. Three years ago. Time flies. Yeah, okay. It does. How are you feeling physically? I go back and forth. I went, I met with my cardiologist um, last week, Thursday. Yeah. We were fortunate enough to have a wellness. I think it might have been the first ever wellness week for all the retired players for the Raiders. Mark brought us all in. And, we went and did all of mind, body, spirit testing wow. and everything. So a couple of little things came up. But, you know, I'm 67, so we nearly lost you. Yeah. No, we nearly yeah. lost you. Yeah. yeah, we nearly lost him. It yeah. was touch and go. Your wife yeah. called me. And he wasn't was, ready. He said, Don't "He wasn't ready." Leo's got work said, to do yeah, down yeah. here. <laughs> yeah, get back down there. So right yeah. on. Boom. No, but I'm hanging so in there. Glad those, to hear that. Yeah. Those are the things that don't obviously get a lot of publicity. With what Mark Davis does for oh, Raider Marcus, alum yeah, behind behind the scene. You know, what does that mean to you and, and the rest a of lot, the A lot, because I, you know, you walk around, like Ron said, knowing that that happened to me three years, it's not that I'm a pessimist, you know, I'm very optimistic, but you still got it in the back of your head. Yeah. Can it happen again? You know, what do I need to do? Okay, I didn't do this. I ate something I wasn't supposed to eat. And, uh, you know, they did the testing and I always had the artery thing in my head. So they, they did a screening for all of our arteries going to the heart. And, you know, you need to know those things. Mine was blessed. It came back good. So, we just you know, yeah, but great uh, things for the players, yes, the, the community, yeah. the organization, yeah. and, you know, the city. Yeah. But, yeah, I um, mean, like, I would like to get back out. I'm at Palo still three times a week. Are you still out there? 